Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the Suburban Proletarium. What we're looking at is the Alpina Star Timer, specifically the Alpina AL-525NN4TS6B. That's a mouthful. Let's do it. Alpina, you do get the packaging that you would get if you purchased the watch at retail. So it comes in this cardboard outer box that simply lifts off to reveal a very nice inner box, which actually appears to be uh, covered in leather. This does not feel like vinyl to me. The uh, Alpinas come with a manual that's way too thick uh, for a mechanical three-hand watch, and they do come with the paperwork for the Alpina International Warranty. It's my and we can open this very nice leather inner box to reveal our Alpina Star Timer. Now, once again, this is the Alpina AL-525NN4TS6B. For those of you that are interested, it is on a bracelet. Um, once again, I think this bracelet model has been discontinued although the same basic watch is still available on a leather strap. Um, we've got a little Alpina dongle here that has all of the pertinent information about the watch, as you can see. And the watch is absolutely ensconced in tacky plastic. So give me a moment to take off all of these wrappings and then we'll see just exactly what the watch looks like. Well, Alpina definitely does not skimp on the packaging. Very, very impressive use of sticky plastics to keep everything nice. I did take the opportunity uh, to get the watch running and I set it and set the date. Um, the dial is really nice, um, as you would expect with a Flieger watch, especially a 44 millimeter one. The dial is very large and very legible. The hand-applied indices are all very nicely uh, aligned. We've got this large cupcake-type crown, which is signed with the Alpina triangular logo on it there. Now, this bracelet is stainless steel. The whole watch is titanium uh, nitride plated, not unlike uh, some of Citizen's titanium nitride plated uh, watches like the ProMaster Tough. It is a bit darker in color. This is supposed to be a blue dial. It's supposed to be a navy blue dial. Um, and as a matter of fact, I thought maybe they had sent me the wrong watch. Um, but no, I, I checked the model number. This is definitely supposed to be a navy blue dial. Now, perhaps um, I'm a bit colorblind. And some people, I've read some reviews where people said, well, under certain uh, light, it appears to be uh, navy blue. Under other lighting conditions, it appears to be black. Under every lighting condition, this dial appears to me to be charcoal gray. I don't see any blue at all. The watch is not overly thick. The case back is nicely designed and engraved. Because this is a pilot style watch, um, there's a Delta Wing fighter that looks a bit like a Mirage on the back there with the Alpina logo and uh, some Swiss mountains with sort of a sunburst uh, behind it. This bracelet is very, very long. Um, I have a, a fairly normal sized, not particularly small, seven and a half inch wrist. And this bracelet is absolutely enormous around my wrist. I would guess off the top of my head, this would probably fit maybe an eight and a half or nine inch wrist. I'm gonna have to take out at least uh, two links to get this bracelet to fit my wrist properly. Um, so if you're worried about not being able to size the watch or if you have a large wrist, this may be a good choice for you. And also the fact that it's 44 millimeters in diameter might make it a good choice uh, for a larger wrist as well. As I said, the case is supposed to be 44 millimeters in diameter and it is in fact 44 millimeters in diameter. The lugs are, I believe, 22 millimeters. 
Yes, just about 22 millimeters, and it is, it's probably enormous over the lugs. Actually, it's not that enormous. It's about 53 millimeters over the lugs. I mean, that's still large, but it's not as large as I was expecting. And it stands about, wow, less than 11 millimeters off the wrist. That's, that's pretty impressive for a watch of this size with a mechanical movement inside. Um, I'll get into the movement and everything when I do the review. I don't want to stretch this out too long. And when I do that, I hope to see each of you here then. Later, guys.